we both attended the once stealth now public AMD Ryzen 7000 launch uh, in a great resort uh, outside of Austin, about uh, 20 minutes outside of the airport. And it was a, a ton of fun. So if you haven't been keeping score on AMD, uh, it's been doing super well in gaining market share in both client uh, and server. In fact, I'm hearing uh, AMD has 50% market share in the top CSPs. And they are gaining, well, that they, they have, at least for the last couple of years, have done really well in the high-end desktop. And that's exactly what they refresh today. It's the AMD Ryzen uh, 7000 product. And it's what you would expect. I mean, it's funny, um, a lot changes over 20 years, but a lot doesn't. And this is more performance uh, at lower wattage. And in fact, versus the 6K, 49% more performance at the same power and 62% lower power at the same performance. Uh, net, net for me, and again, look at the show notes, you can see all the gory uh, details, is um, their higher end price point was lower than I expected. Uh, their lower price point was higher than I expected by about a hundred bucks. Um, I think it's very likely competitive with, with what's upcoming from Intel for Raptor Lake, but there's important stuff that I don't know. The only reason I'm saying this is because Intel says that Raptor Lake is up to double digit performance compared compared to Alder Lake. And I know how Alder Lake performs. So with that said, I still think AMD will be competitive uh, before Raptor, you know, with Raptor Lake when it comes out in October. But a lot of details I don't know about Raptor. I don't know power. I don't know performance. I don't know uh, wattage uh, on that. But uh, I think enthusiasts are going to be pretty happy from what both Intel and AMD bring out. One thing I want to, I want to point out is nothing that we saw so far on the 7,000 desktop will help AMD solve its enterprise share challenge. Uh, typically the enterprises are not making decisions based on uh, PPW, right? Power performance uh, wattage. Um, they're making it based on other types of things. It's typically driven by the OEMs. But even if AMD provided 20% more performance for the same dollar, it doesn't make these folks necessarily uh, move. Uh, Intel also has somewhat of a moat with what's called vPro. And this is a special line of processors that um, Intel uh, adopts its highest level of security and manageability on. AMD does have AMD Pro, uh, but enterprises have yet to, I would say, fully wrap their arms uh, around it and actually ask for it like they do in bids uh, with Intel vPro processors. But all around a great, great uh, setting. It was great to see uh, Lisa Sue on stage, in person, uh, rocking it. Yeah, it was great to be there, Pat, at the redacted event, at the redacted location, hearing about the redacted products uh, from a redacted company. Um, that one time I almost tweeted out the name badge. Yeah. So we were going to do the redacted tweet, but we were both wearing the, the lanyards. And you caught me just as I was about to hit tweet. So that was good. See, that was maybe the highlight moment besides all the awesomeness that was, was released. So. Um, I'm a little newer to following the PC side. I track AMD much more closely on the enterprise and the, uh, you know, some of the things that they're doing on the um, OEM. Uh, but what I would say is that it seems that the company's got a couple of focal points and they're focused very heavily on that, that uh, low power, which isn't only about competing with Intel but it's also going to be about competing with ARM, which is something I talked to them about because ARM is certainly going to become more prevalent and there are certain OEMs that are leaning more and more on ARM-based designs. AMD has been pretty consistently grabbing market share from Intel <laughs> over the last several quarters. And I like your, um, I like your bifurcation. Um, a lot of it's on consumer um, and that AMD's desire to, to create a deeper moat into 
commercial. Um, it wasn't entirely evident that this launch is going to meet that particular requirement. And so that's going to be something to watch. Um, I think we've talked a little bit about vPro and AMD Pro as a whole. Not totally certain that the adoption has been anywhere near as high as either company would like to see, given the amount of investment that they've made to build um, capabilities that are very specifically designed to take care of those complex commercial needs in areas like security. Um, you know, AMD has been a kind of a, their story has been really driven by performance and it's been driven by a bit of a, of a, um, a fan base uh, of, of users that have become quite committed to the company's story. It's a bit of a sensational story in the market. Um, and I think people have been very excited. You know, Intel, unfortunately, kind of only had one direction to go over the last few years. They had so much market share that uh, anything less than flawless was going to constantly cost. So you and I talked about this in some of our different meetings at the event. Grabbing market, uh, you know, grabbing market share from Intel has been sort of at the disposal of AMD due to some different process delays, uh, due to chip shortages. Um, so the real question, though, is, you know, I, I always like to talk about this with the market, Pat, but is the growth on alpha. As, as Intel gets its stuff together, as some of its um, packaging and some of its process uh, gets on time or closer to on time, will AMD be able to continue to grab market share because their product is notably superior? Or has it been because Intel couldn't deliver? And we've seen, of course, how that's been impacted on the server side. Um, but overall, like I said, you know, as I'm starting to pay attention, it seems the low power, it seems security. And then, of course, you didn't say much about this because I didn't, we didn't hear a ton, at least not the day I was there. But it seems the company's really betting big on AI and they're going to be more and more focused on AI. And so that's going to be something I will certainly be watching. But it was an exciting launch. It was great. Very intimate setting, Pat. Uh, a lot of handshakes and opportunities to speak to the executives. And you could sense a lot of enthusiasm. The culture of AMD is incredibly strong right now. You can't really find anyone that's working there that doesn't seem excited, and that's a good sign for a company. That really is good. Uh, uh, good, good ads on there, and yeah, I mean, I'm wondering if AMD has already tapped its uh, its you know brand switcher uh, <laughs> markets uh, so far.